Imagine a case where you're collecting information about a finite set of individuals that you have been locating in a collection of different sources. Let's say you have one source, union enlistment records, that is your primary source of information about a certain group of individuals. And then you found more information about those, information, those individuals in other sources. If you have an ID number associated with uh, the individuals and have them in a, kind of a sequential list like this um, that's already pre-sorted, um, then you can do interesting kinds of analysis in Excel. <clears throat> Keeping the different sources separated by sheet uh, essentially allows you to develop the sources uh, over time, uh, compile information from sources, and not have them interfere with each other in case there is uh, overlapping or contradictory information, etc. If you wanted to do analysis on this, you still have to have a sheet that merges all of this information together. Uh, now, one way that you could do this is by, for example, copying this information from here and pasting it into here. Uh, but that's a one-time deal, uh, and you'll have to do it at the completion of all of your data entry for this source and all of your data entry for this source, copying it from here uh, and entering it into to here. There is a way to dynamically link these sheets together such that whenever something is updated in this source or updated in that source, um, the information that's in the merge list will also update. It also means you can add more individuals over time and have this merge list uh, continuously updated. So how do you link together these two sheets dynamically into a merge list? The key here is to use a uh, command in Excel called VLOOKUP, and I'm going to show you how to do that in this particular case. So the key here is to make use of this ID table. Um, if I have a list of ID numbers here uh, that's similar to what's located here, I can now go into this column here named name and type equals, which will dump me into the formula tab here. Uh, and then if I type V, it's already giving me um, the default most recently used uh, equation word, which is VLOOKUP. Uh, a VLOOKUP command has a number of parameters that you have to supply. Uh, the first value, the lookup value in, the, in our case, is going to be the location of the ID number on the relevant sheet. The table array is going to be a selection of all of the values in the source table you want to pull information from followed by a comma, and then the target column of information we want to pull up. So in this case, which column is the name going to be located in that we want to pull from the other sheet? And then comma, and ignore this range lookup. We're just going to put false for that option. So let's put that information in. I need to find out where the ID number is in the source sheet. So moving back to union, selecting here is the source number, comma. Now I need the table array, that is to say, the entire table of information that I'm pulling stuff from. Here, you can go way down below if you want to allow for future growth of the table, comma. The column number that I want is one, two, so I want column number two. You see that it already jumped back to the merge table now because we're getting close to the end comma, and false because we don't want to have a range lookup. So now if I press enter, you'll see that John has appeared here. Now the contents of this little box here is actually this equation. So it's dynamically pulling that information from here. So that if I were to change John's name to Jack, and switch back to the merged, you'll see that Jack has now changed here. So these are now linked together thanks to the, the VLOOKUP. This little box in the corner here will reproduce 
the equation on these other lines, but increment the row so that it automatically pulls stuff from the subsequent rows, which is very convenient. Now doing the same thing from here, I don't think we can stretch this way. It looks like we can. So in fact, without putting another VLOOKUP in there, we were able to automatically fill place from period enlisted, deserted, and muster out. And it just incremented the row number for this section. So here the row num the column number is two. And each time it just changed uh, the range of the table so that it pulled, even though it's pulling the same column number, it's shifting everything over by one each time, which is the reason why it gives you the correct answer. Jack, places from Alabama, one, three, one. Alabama, one, three, one. Uh, and uh, here too, we can pull this down and it'll automatically fill out those other sections. So now if we ever go back and change completion from one to sorry I have different kinds of information here don't I? A period enlisted yeah let's call this period enlisted so it's the same Uh, deserted completion no muster out yeah sorry I have okay so you'll see that these columns are now identical and they're showing the correct information I can't do the same thing for these columns here because uh, these come from a different sheet so now let's go and reproduce the same process that we did for Jack but doing it from sheet uh, for the Confederate roles. If I press equals V lookup, now I want to pull the ID number from this sheet instead. So it's conf role exclamation mark A2. Uh, now it wants the table range. So let's just select the whole table. And which column information do I want for the state enlisted? I want the second column. And I'm again going to put false. Okay, so state enlisted Alabama for Jack. Jack is ID number one. And now I can literally just pull this all the way over there and it'll draw it from the correct. Uh, correct sheet. Pulling these down like this. And if you see here, A L G A M I M I M I A L. A L G A M I G A G A. Oh, sorry. A L G A M I M I M I A L. So that's the same. A L G A M I G A G A A L. That all got transferred correctly. 60, 62, 62, 60, 62, 62, and so on. So essentially, by making two V lookups, but just connecting them to two different sheets, now this merged sheet will correctly identify um, the similar columns and rows from the other two sheets. So now you can continue adding more lines from this source and more lines from this source and it will fill out in this merged uh, uh, sheet. Now why are we doing this again? The purpose is once you have all of the data in a merged sheet, uh, you can use that merged sheet for various kinds of analysis. Uh, I didn't have to bring in all of the columns Let's say that there are some columns in here and some columns in here that I don't need. Uh, then I could just create a, a VLOOKUP that only pulls in the columns I want to pull it in. But then you wouldn't want to use this dragging uh, and reproduction because that'll grab 
uh, the various columns sequentially. Uh, in this case, I've just brought all of the data into the merged uh, sheet. Once I have all the stuff in the merged sheet, then I can use other features of Excel uh, to query this merged sheet as one giant table uh, and just figure out uh, you know, what individuals meet certain characteristics, like who are the places from Alabama who have a certain desertion category or were enlisted in a certain year. Uh, but that's for another video.